Texas may be known for longhorns, blue bonnets, and mesquite trees, uh, but these state standards were not always a part of the local landscape. No, they were not. KTAB's Noah McKinney saw the dedication of a trail marker on the path that brought these familiar symbols through the big country almost 200 years ago. That's tonight's top story. Standing in a field of blue bonnets as the wild Texas winds whip you back and forth, there's a quiet reverence in thinking of all those that came before, passing through the very same field and likely battling the same winds. I feel a major responsibility to do my share to see that what they worked on will continue to be there. Sylvia Mahoney is the author of Finding the Great Western Trail, a 2015 account of her journey to identify and commemorate this once forgotten cattle drive. We have 300 Great Western Trail posts from Mexico across the nine Great Plains states into Canada. 300 posts that tell the tale of the men and women that over the years drove seven to nine million longhorns north for auction. One of the largest cattle movements in the history of man. A movement that brought livestock to starving Native American tribes along the way and planted the seeds that would become many of the ranches and cities we know today. I think it's great that we are a part of the whole, if you will. Coleman local Joe Watson has served many roles in his hometown and even acted as an extra in some TV westerns, a skill he's now using to portray an 1870s cattle baron. We want to make sure we bring attention to the history uh, in Coleman County and throughout Texas. A history which extends beyond borders, according to Mahoney. I have friends from Mexico to Canada that I cherish as dearly as family. Which is why she supports a bill to nationally recognize the Great Western Trail as historical, though a Kansas bill is at odds with that mission, aiming to recognize their portion separately. If they get their bill approved, the trails stop in Kansas. An outcome she hopes to avoid by asking all that will to contact their representative, keeping the trail intact for all that claim it as a part of their history. The people in Mexico are just as connected to the trail as the Canadians and as we are. We have a bond and a friendship that is just nothing like I've ever been involved with. For BigCountryHomePage.com, I'm Noah McKinney. Thank you, Noah. The water you saw being poured on that post was taken from a nearby creek there in Coleman. Mahoney saying that at each dedication that she's been to, they christen the post with nearby water to symbolize its importance to those who traverse the trail all those years ago and the 200-year-old wind. Yeah, <laughs> it still keeps coming it around. It does.